Hello, happy Saturday. Now we're going on MSX1 system today rather than MSX2. You might have noticed on my uh, other videos in January we've had uh, MSX2, so let's go for MSX1 for a change. So let's do this. So play with keyboard because that's what I've got connected. So this is by Konami, as you can see. Right, okay, so this is Antarctic Adventure on the MSX. It was released on other formats as well. I think it, the NES, has, eh, sorry, the NES had a port. So basically, what you've got, got to do is get to the end. I think you've got to collect these flags and these fishes as well. Very charming and uh, early MSX game. Showing sure off what this system can do. I do apologise if you get the uh, key presses. It's just my microphone picking them up. But yeah, yeah it's, it look, it's very impressive for its age, actually. Like 3D, sort of pseudo 3D effects and stuff, like distance and everything. We've got music constantly playing as well, that's really good. So basically, yeah, it's even got bends, that's cool. So I'm not quite sure what you've got to do, I forgot. I think you've got to collect the fishes and avoid the holes. Yeah, like that. Watch out for these seal guys as well. I think I think you've got to watch out for them. Graphics are okay for the age, definitely. Uh, this is 1984, whenever whatever it said at the beginning, so early 80s, and like a sort of 3D game, way before Outrun was made even. And yeah, it looks good. It looks apart. It's nice and 3D. You've even got innovations such as different uh, environments, like now we've got water on either side of the uh, the the, the uh, pathway. I don't know what to call that, it's like an ice, it, it's not a road is it, because we don't have penguins driving on the road, but I think, uh, yeah, for oh, it's time, and it's very impressive, can you speed up? Oh you can as well, if you press up and down on the joystick, or the keyboard, you can actually speed up, whoa, we're going fast now, look at this, I'm running, oh shit, I didn't realise you could do that, and that's why my time's running out on the top left. I'm not gonna make it. You've obviously got to get to some checkpoint. Oh, that's why that happened because I didn't realize you could speed up. Right, we'll try that again. Let's try that again on this Saturday evening. So, yep, let's go for keyboard. Now, I think originally this game might have been cartridge only for the MSX and not on cassette. I might be wrong on that. If I am wrong on that, correct me in the comments because I haven't really Googled that. It looks like it could be a cartridge only game. Right. So, uh, okay, we're going really fast now, so it's going to make the gameplay a bit harder. But, um, even at fast speed, it's quite easy to avoid the obstacles, isn't it? So, yeah, we're speeding up now. Whoa, 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 apart from that hole then. If you've got two subsequent holes, you're going to fall down one of them. Ah! Ah, it's too fast! Oh shit! Whoa, maybe I should slide down a bit. Should have made some good time anyway. So yeah, you can see at the top top of the screen you've got your one player score, your high score, your what stage you're on, how fast you're going. I've just noticed there's a speedometer there. And the uh, rest of the course to beat before the time on the left. So, the, so yeah, as long as you can sort of get in front of that time, ticking down you, you you're good to go well, it's only 46 seconds but i've still got all them kilometers to make up so that is a fast penguin isn't it so yeah like i said graphics are good nice gameplay in the game oh you fuck i just fell down here and that takes valuable time of course oh shit i got some ground to make up now Oh, come on. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up again. Oh, uh, we're gonna make it. I don't know. Just don't mess up now. Oh, it's gonna be close. Look at that time compared to the rest. <laughs> we made it. No way. Wasn't expecting to make that then. 
We've got USA there. As it goes through the different countries. What a cool game for its time. So that was a quick look at Antarctic Adventure on the MSX1 system. So this is playable on like a Toshiba HX10 for example. And uh, yes, I'm going to give this one a nice uh, 9 out of 10. I think it's uh, superb for its age of release. I think it's got a lot of innovation and I think it's a really good game. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant Saturday evening and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. And here's one more. Goodbye.